Harry's Wife, Part 100.34 The Hand Grenades Yes, there we have it. A hand grenade hurled by Harry's wife. A common narcissistic manipulation. But what is it? Well, Harry's wife is apt for doing this. For instance, arising out of the Oprah Bombshell interview, she hurled that hand grenade suggesting that somebody had been racist about Archie with regard to querying the colour of his skin. But she didn't say who it was. And, of course, uh, there was some vagueness about when the, uh, the conversation took place, with both her and Harry giving slightly differing explanations as to the timing of it. She did it again just recently when she explained that the media basically had been using the N-word in relation to her children. She didn't say when it had occurred. She didn't say a specific publication or media outlet. She just talked about the fact that she wouldn't be giving her photos in the Royal Rota to outlets that would use the N-word in relation to her children. As we know, this was a lie. But it also forms as a hand grenade because she simply pulls out the pin, lobs the hand grenade and walks off without any due regard for where it explodes and what it's actually doing to anybody. Similarly, when she decried the fact that she'd asked for help because she was suicidal and that nobody gave her any support, she didn't explain specifically when this took place, how she asked for this support, and most importantly of all, who it was who'd actually refused it. Again, she hurled another hand grenade. This is a typical narcissistic manipulation. Common versions would be for the narcissist to say to you, I know what you've been doing. And then they wait for a moment as you look startled and go, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean you know what I've been doing? You're perhaps met with a, a wry smile, the narcissist smirk even, or an arched eyebrow before the narcissist walks away. They've lobbed that hand grenade and away they go. Sometimes the narcissist will say it in terms of, I saw what you wrote online, or I saw you with her. Or, I'm sick of you treating me like this. There's no particularization. There's no specificity with regard to when, who, where, what. It's all vague. And that's intentional. Where you're dealing with an aware narcissist, the hand grenade is thrown by the narcissist knowing full well of the vagueness that's being used and the impact it'll have upon you. For the majority of narcissists, they do this in an unaware fashion. Their narcissism compels them to believe that you've been up to some monkey business, that they have knowledge of this, and does so through a revision of history, to compel them to accuse you of something, but you're not given any specificity. This, of course, offends very much an empathic victim. Why? It's indecent behaviour, but most of all, it offends the truth-seeker trait, which is found in all empathic individuals, and tends to be one of the stronger traits. Empathic people, wired to the brain's need for certainty, like the truth. Of course, the narcissist has their version, which is invariably your version of a lie. But for you, as a non-narcissist, you like to deal in the truth, and empathic people want to get to the truth, they want their, their truth of the situation to be acknowledged by the narcissist to get them to see, not in any high-handed point-scoring way, although ultimately when you're particularly frustrated it can lead you in that direction, but more usually because you view it as the right thing to do. It's only fair. You don't like to be accused of something that you've not done. You don't like to be accused of something when you don't actually understand what it is you're being accused of. This, of course, is what the narcissism revels in creating. By using vagueness, you're then chasing scotch mist. You're running after a will-o'-the-wisp. And the narcissist is not going to help you out. Oh, don't come the innocence with me. You know full well what I'm talking about. Might be another hand grenade that's thrown at you. Don't pretend you don't know. I'm sick of you telling lies. And, of course, that causes you to protest all the more. 
your emotional thinking is increased as a consequence of this, and you want to prove your innocence. You want the narcissist to accept and understand that you haven't been doing anything wrong, that you didn't write anything unsavory online, that you haven't been with this mystery person that you're accused of being with, and that you haven't been treating them like anything. Not because you regard yourself as holier than thou, you just don't like being lied about. And of course, the throwing of these hand grenades in the similar way to those that have been hurled by Harry's wife allows the attainment of part of the prime aims. It allows the assertion of control. It allows the gathering of fuel. When Harry's wife throws into the conversation with Oprah the fact that persons unknown question the colour of Archie's skin, it was met with a response of, What? That is the provision of positive fuel from Oprah, a non-intimate secondary source, and, of course, undoubtedly Harry's wife was contemplating through thought fuel the many millions watching who were similarly aghast at this revelation. Thereafter, of course, there was the ramifications from it, as the press went into overdrive reporting on it. That allowed the provision of yet more fuel. Although, of course, there were those that didn't believe her providing challenge fuel, she was still getting that fuel, and her narcissism would cause her to dismiss the naysayers. But those that stood beside her, those that supported her, decrying these terrible racist royals, it allowed her control over those individuals and the provision of fuel. Of course, the royal family, aghast at such allegations, scrambled then to struggle to deal with it. How can you deal with an allegation when you don't know who it's aimed at? How can you deal with an allegation when you're not entirely certain about the detail of it, the time period, what's actually occurred? And it leaves you befuddled, puzzled, bamboozled. That, of course, is inherently part of the design of the narcissist hand grenade. By being confused, you become easier to control. By being confused, you're more likely to respond with fuel. You're less likely to do this no idea what you're talking about, cheerio, which of course is entirely close to the response that you should give. When you recognise that you're dealing with a narcissist and the hand grenade comes your way, the easiest way is not to take hold of it and allow it to explode by trying to get to the bottom of it, but it is simply to walk away from it, not even to question it. You will have an initial emotional response driven by your own emotional thinking to question what on earth are you talking about, but bite that tongue. Implement that no-contact regime and in that moment, by realising this is a hand grenade, all it's doing is seeking control over me. All it's doing is trying to provoke me into a response so I provide fuel. There is no substance behind it. It's a lie and a revision of history and a false accusation created by the narcissism to cause the narcissist to seek the prime aims. Fixed with that knowledge, you can tell yourself, not only do you have no obligation to respond to it, logical course of action is not to do so. And of course, that should be the response with what Harry's wife does when she throws these hand grenades, which of course she will continue to lob. Most people should just now look at them and go, ah oh, yes, this is Harry's wife throwing a narcissist grenade with no specificity, no particularization. It's being done, driven by her narcissism. She believes it, but whereas you'd want to pick it apart and say, so who said it, when, how, what are the circumstances in an attempt to then show that the narcissist that they're wrong? All the narcissist will do is take you on a dance down a cul-de-sac and up the garden path. Because they will need to reject that threat to control posed by your questioning. And invariably, the narcissist lobs the hand grenade and then just walks off, preventing you from the opportunity of cross-examining them about the circumstances of it, leaving you floundering as they drink in the fuel as they depart, and, of course, the assertion of control over you. The best way to deal with the narcissist hand grenade, like anything to do with the narcissist, is not to respond to it. It is to understand what purpose it serves, the fact that it's done to provoke you, that you should not allow yourself to be provoked. Of course, with Harry's wife, it's rather difficult for that course to be taken. The press gain by commenting about these hand grenades, by speculating about it, and so do many people on social media. But of course, if everybody were to stop doing this, then the hand grenades wouldn't be thrown as often as they would be. But that isn't going to happen, because other people have a vested interest in continuing to report on the activities of Harry's wife. Harry's wife will continue to hurl these hand grenades. They serve a purpose, but they're quite simply driven by her narcissism. 
inventing circumstances which she believes in order to then tell lies, revise history, and provoke people for the purposes of the two most important aspects of the prime aims, control and fuel. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.